Hey everyone, we're covering the Bughouse World Championship in the under 2000 section. And today's match is Good Gamer 2, Can I Give You a Tempo versus Artem Sadovsky and Shuvalov. Artem and Shuvalov are uh, both Russian titled chess players. Good Gamer 2 and Can I Give You a Tempo. Uh, one is from Germany, the others from the Ukraine, and both play a ton of Buckhouse. We have Buckhouse specialists versus title players here. Um, let me update my title real quick to add their titles. Alright, um, so this is the first game of the match. Uh, immediately following this, we should have another match in the under 2000 section, uh, which is Hager, Jen Den, and Slow Wi-Fi 9 versus Lock and Quay and Ferrari Fan 27. Oh, oops. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, our score is now one to nothing, favor and good gamer two, and can I give you a tempo? Uh, let me advertise this in a few discords, and then we can get to the commentary itself. Okay. <clears throat> If he takes, there is a discovered check. Uh, interesting that he did it this way. Maybe he wanted to pick up the rook. I thought it was better the other way because it prevented the king moving over. Yeah, that he can just take. Doesn't do very much. Trying to deflect the bishop. Queen takes, might take. I'm going to give you a tempo in a little bit of trouble here. I suppose you could castle. If a queen ever mates for his partner, like right now, uh, they should have coordinated that better. Take the queen, queen mates. That was a missed opportunity. But at least good gamer 2 has got very safe. Can I give you a tempo? It's not safe. Don't like rook takes. Probably could have put a new knight in to defend instead. Yeah, okay. this is a peace factory. So can I give you tempo? It's going to give a piece every single move until he's mated. Finally, he castles. But uh, still not a very safe position. Now a queen mates him. This can be taken. It helps defend. Queen can't take or here. Pawn can't take because of the pin. So bishop takes knight is the move. Uh, it's not his move though, I guess. Oh, this is interesting. If take, 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 that's mate. Oh, this is... Uh, maybe new bishop in? No, you can't take that. That's just mate. So that was a missed opportunity for a good gamer too. Can I give you a tempo? There was a point where a queen made it in one. His partner could have taken the queen. Didn't do it. Uh, so our score right now is one to one. All tied up. Uh, the positions are fairly inconclusive now. I think the B file should be grabbed. Uh, could snag a pawn here. Hey, B and Maria TV, thanks for watching. Uh, Shuvalov is defending. Can I give you tempo? Again, could take free pawns, but I think he only cares about the attack. He's going to try to come in on the light squares. If this trade happens, he would get the rook file. 
think he'd be fine with that. Ah, uh, Artem has grabbed the piece. Is he going to grab the rook? Okay. If queen is held, then that's fine. Uh, maybe bishop here. Because if pawn takes, he can drop a knight. Yep, he sees it. Knight check, take queen. Uh, could drop a pawn here. Well, uh, actually a rook mates. Just hold the rook. But I think he can hold the rook. Be too much of a problem. Queen takes pawn. Artem is maiden. Pawn check, I guess. Take that. Can't, can't let go of the queen, so he has to take it. Ooh, this is probably going to be mate. Looking very good for Artem. Doesn't really need much of anything to mate. And they've resigned it. Our score right now is 2 to 1, favoring the titled players from Russia. Ooh, this creates a weakness in c7. Don't like it. Yeah, I don't like this bishop move. He had a knight, he had better things he could do. Uh, this... I think he could just take it. This is a threat. This is a threat. There's no bishops in hand to defend, so... Oh, never mind, there's a bishop. Uh, you gotta watch out, knight mates, rook mates. Artem needs to cover up this file. Maybe just bishop in. Defends this square, also covers up. That's not so good. Now a knight can win a rook. A uh, rook. Mm -hmm. So this pawn is hanging, but he has bigger problems. Rook plus knight would mate with rook check. Okay, not anymore. This is a good covering move, like I mentioned. That's a good attack on the light squares. This queen is going to be tempoed a few times. New bishop in here, maybe? I wouldn't move it, I would put a new one in. This covers up the queen, and I think it would be better to have the act queen active. I haven't paid much attention to the other board in a while. I think if you tempo is up time, wants to attack in the dark squares. Okay, might win a rook. If he takes it, otherwise that was just a free knight. He can take this. Uh, a little vulnerable? I think he's fine now. That, I don't know if he could take. I think he should have gone up instead. Yeah, now he's a little bit vulnerable. He's going to have to run his king. And his partner does not have mate. The bishop does cover. Bishop takes. It's probably going to be mate. King up. I like this move. And this is just mate. Can I give you a tempo? Was in trouble as well. Rook takes, rook takes. So that was mate on the other board too. There's no blocker. Our score right now is 3 to 1, favoring the titled players from Russia.
Move it off attacking on the light squares. And this is part of the problem with playing e3 instead of e4. Sorry, e, e6 instead of e5. Oh, I would have taken this. Okay, well, it's not. I still would take this. Take the bishop, and you're making a threat here, a threat here. That's mate. Title player C, chess mates. Our score right now is 4 to 1, favoring the title players from Russia. Rubilov is on the attack and undermine the knight. I think you take this. You may also take the queen. I would castle here actually before taking the rook. This is reasonable too. Develops a knight. Threats on the rook. This is a terrible move. Picking up some free material. I still like castles here. Rook over is also good. Develop the rook, threaten the bishop. There's the castle. Gotta watch out for this though. Bishop can win the knight. Okay, that prevents it. Knight over, maybe. Attack this bishop. If this bishop ever moves here, you can just take the pawn. Okay, I think you take... Uh, this is reasonable too, but you can take the bishop and play rook down. Okay, you can no longer do that thing I mentioned. Uh, knight takes, rook takes, I guess. Ooh, that was a blunder. Free pawn with check. If something goes here, you just take it. If he moves left, it's made in one with the queen. Okay, now a knight mates. Two different ways. Knight check, king over, queen in. Or queen check, something takes, knight in. So he wants a knight. Knight is forced, but time is even. <clears throat> He's got to watch out back here if he doesn't get it. Other problem is good gamer has some threats. I mean, he, he can check with pawns to gain some time. Luckily, this bishop defends. If this bishop weren't here, then good gamer would have mate. Probably with pawn check. Bishop in. Might need a little bit more, but it looks pretty good. So he sacked the pawn. <clears throat> Maybe king over. Would be a possibility. King over, pawn takes. And then he just gets another move to deal with stuff. Okay, so queen in doesn't work. Okay, now he has a threat. New knight in here. He still didn't take a knight. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. So yeah, gonna give you tempo is gonna mate for sure. Bishop check. Up, queen in. So 
So Artem never took either of these two knights. That's really strange. Not great coordination there. And I think they clearly knew about the knights because there were there was sitting going on. And by the way, neither team is talking in the chat, which means both teams are probably in separate voice calls. This is why I hate E6. That you just attack the whole way and you never have an attack yourself. So it's very awkward. Maybe sack. He's just retreating, but that allows him to get tempoed by pawns. And he has to sack anyway, but not in an advantageous way. That's a free bishop. We take those. Ah, uh, that's reasonable. I would have taken this one though. Oh, that's me. Our score now is four to three. Still favoring the title players from Russia, but it's getting close again. The gamer going after the light squares. I would drop a pawn here to try to, okay, that's reasonable. Let's try to temper the knight. Oh, I would have pawn checked first. That was worth stacking a pawn for. Now he needs a knight. Partner trying to get the knight. They are up six seconds. Theoretically possible. Oh, he just gave the knight. That's really weird. Okay, that's mate. up is his best shot but it still looks really good even just pawn up protect the knight and you're gonna mate eventually he can't go down or it's mate immediately i don't know why he didn't try going up worth the shot maybe you can take the knight go back if he doesn't defend well or if he doesn't attack well all right our score is now four all all tied up this is a really awkward move. I hate it. It prevents development of this other bishop. It's just really awful. Uh, pawn check. It's worth sacking a pawn to get the king out. Queen takes queen. And then you probably rook over after that. Uh, but he can't do that yet. This good gamer is under attack. Oh, good gamer is safe now. Now he can do it. Rook over. Okay, Castlin. Okay too, but I think the king was better, safer over here. Because now there's attacks on this diagonal. Maybe bishop check. Okay, pawn in, that's reasonable. Okay, queen mates, rook is good. Ooh, I don't like that. I think you should have taken with rook first instead of the knight. But he still has an okay attack, and king is relatively safe. Knight mates. Oh, he's not waiting for a knight. Okay. Promote that. And knight check, then take rook. Take the rook. If queen check, you can drop a bishop. You might need to create left, but it's really rough for him over here. So new knight in is good. 
He could just move his existent knight, but that just trades the rooks. Oh, that's an interesting move. I don't think it works. Oh, that's a free... No, never mind. Not a free pawn. Oh, that's interesting. Knight up, I guess, is the idea. This should mate. I can't imagine him living. King up is the only option, of course. I guess he can take the bishop. Artem is moving instantly. I think he feels... Yeah, I don't know why Cannot Give You Tempo isn't going. Best chance is up. You're not mated in one. So why not go for it? Artem is now up seven seconds. Why would you go down? That's just immediate mate. Okay. So our score is now five to four, favoring the titled players from Russia. This is still first to 11 with a win by two condition. Next week will be first to 16. Uh, I, I'm not sure what they're waiting for. Ibrat657 says, what is reglement? And I don't know what that means, but I told him it's first to 11. Hey, Eric. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is the under 2000 section. Uh, we're looking forward to your open section match, uh, which I gather is going to be Sunday night. Oh, Sunday morning. Okay. Here we go. Back to the races. So again, the score is five to four, favoring the title players from Russia. Pawn is being attacked, defended, and we see a sack. I think you have to take it. Oh, that just hangs a rook. I think he had to take it, knight in, king over, hope for the best. Um, but he's trying to play super safe, I guess. Sack the queen. Ten days a week. Queen for two knights, that's very reasonable. Maybe rook f1. I mean, yeah, this first, but eventually rook f1. Gets you safe. Okay, he's not even caring about king safety. He's going for an attack now. Oh, that just hangs a pawn. I don't know why he did that. He's taking that one first. Knight check. If king takes, he can take this one. Okay. Pawn check. Actually, knight check would have been good if he had a knight. Um, okay, so, oh, he, uh, I think he can get away with taking this, knight take, oh, okay, yeah, never mind, this mates, this is much cleaner, okay, queen in, queen takes, good find by Shuvalov. All right, our score is now six to four, favoring the title players from Russia. With this e6 that NKV Tempo keeps playing, it's in a very cramped position every game. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of players play e6, but for me it's always difficult. Okay, knight plus rook would be good for Greek gamer too, but he's not going to get those things. Rook would be good for Greek gamer too, but he's not going to get it. Not sure why he waited so long to put a bishop here. Very odd move. I guess you attack this pawn. Mm, that's a very odd move. Weak gamer two, hanging a bunch of pieces. With double attack. Queen trade may happen. Weak gamer two would still like a rook. And he's still not going to get it. Another knight now would be good too. Knight check, pawn takes, knight check, take rook. It's not necessarily maiden, but maybe you could attack. Oh, maybe that rook is coming after all. They, no, never mind. They're down 10 seconds. Rook is not coming. Shuvalov is going to stall. Look at all these extra pieces Artem has at hand. This bishop move keeps this king very, very safe. Knight here would also help with safety. But he's just trying to get these pieces on the board. I still like knight here. I guess they were just going for flag. And Shuvalov has mate on his board. Our score right now, I believe, is 7 to 4. Seven to four. So what happened that last game was Kenneth give you tempo waited uh well downtime uh for a PC he was never gonna get. Uh and sacrificed quite a bit of material. <laughs> that made it very easy for their opponents to win the game. Since their opponents were up time and up pieces. Okay, rook or queen. Very good for your gamer too. Probably not going to get it. Bishop takes pawn. Reasonable. This is not a good move. I guess he's committed. He's got to take this now. Bishop takes pawn, still a good move. Knight at f4, also a good move. That's a free knight. But one of these players ever taken free knights. That was still a free knight. Uh, okay, so now rook or queen is good for good gamer too. He's thinking about knight in. Okay, I don't like this move. Does it? Well, now I love it. Okay, knight check. Now bishop takes. That's me. Knight check. Wait, what happened? When he moved, like, what did Good Gamer 2 do? Wait, as for some reason, I don't have the live position. I don't know what happened. I'm going to try reload it. That's really weird. What it switched boards on me. <laughs> uh Eric, yeah, I'd love some help in the booth. Um are you in the house Discord server or where can I find you? Yeah, that was a weird error there where it stopped showing the live position for me. House Discord. Alright, I'll go in the house party channel. So feel free to join me there. Okay, this is going to be mate for a good gamer too. His partner is up a ton of time. He's going to stall. Queen in. Knight takes. Smothered mate. Uh, I can go to my Discord too. Okay. Uh, if you're in my Discord server, 
Um, are are you uh, D4LZ? Hello? Is this Eric? Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, I'm going to move us real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, oops, sorry. Um, okay, our score is now 7-5. to five. They've earned the title players from Russia. Uh, I have Ego Smasher in the booth with me. Um, yeah, so what do you think of this match so far? Uh, I've, I've really just caught the last uh, couple games, so I don't really have a, a real feeling for, for what's happened so far. <laughs> well, the, the general trend is uh, we have two bug health specialists uh, against uh, two chess title players. Um, they both teams seem to be in a voice call. Uh, the bug out specialists uh, seem to be uh, seem to be sacking pieces, and the title players seem to be winning pieces. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's generally generally how that goes, right? Yeah. So the oh, and it looks like mate is going to happen real soon here. Yeah, that's mate in one. Oh, he chose not to play mate in one to win knight at d four. Uh, but I mean, he's gonna get mate soon anyway. Um, yeah, so it kind of came has come down to the time uh, a few games here, and when the bug house players get down time versus the chess players, they tend to get chessed. Yeah, that's definitely uh, works to the advantage of the better better chess players for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not really familiar with checkmate. any of these uh, players. I've I played Good Gamer a, a couple games, but uh, I don't really have a feel for any of these guys' play styles. Yeah, Good Gamer is probably the player who's played the most bug house in here. Okay, so... Oh, he's going to trade. Okay, trade one queen. Trade another queen. Oh, now that, that makes sense. Yep. So not the yeah, best trade, but... Yeah, they were quite a bit of time there. I'm surprised that they, he... They are, they're, still, they're still up quite a bit of time, and Artem does not yeah. have to move. <laughs> he can stall. Yeah, and there's no blocker, so that is checkmate. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, I guess uh, yeah, Shuvalov had calculated that, and uh, it's a nice win. Yeah, <laughs> we can hope he calculated that. <laughs> it might have might have been lucky break. So our score is now eight to five, and this is first to eleven with a win by two condition. Gamer about to win a piece. Uvalov on the attack. Uh, bishop at b4. But, oh, not anymore. <laughs> I was going to say that would have been good if you kind of give your tempo. Yeah, it seems like white has a pretty good position here uh, on the Shuvalov board. Yeah. Uh, I think white is a good position probably, on both boards, actually. Yeah. Knight at g5 looks really good if you can get a knight. Only problem is they're down about 20 seconds now, so. Yeah, this is a reasonable move while they wait. Oh, I like this move. Uh, I would just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, knight at g5 is still really good. Uh, it is, but even better would be knight at h8. Um, oh, okay. He's created his own knight for g5. Now yeah. a pawn, two pawns mate. Uh, does one pawn 
one pawn is pretty good. I I guess he could uh he could repeat. And he's gonna repeat. Uh he's down ten seconds though. This is he's not gonna get the stuff he wants. So Yeah. I wonder if it makes sense to keep playing chess, maybe just knight e three, yeah. Yeah. Uh, knight takes knight here, then castle. And that's what we see. Maybe rook d1. The, the f rook to d1 at some point. Yep. Maybe bishop at c4, get the check, defend he, e2. Now he has oh. knights, so knight at g5 looks fun. Uh, bishop at b4 would be fun. Uh... Bishop at yeah, b4 to no blocker. pin the queen yep. with no blocker. Definitely. A pawn at h7 also would be good if you could get one of those. So that's an oh, interesting that's move. If queen takes, then there's the knight check to pick up the queen. They give him the opportunity to get a blocker, but I, I think it's good that they're going to still move. Oh, we got the ball. Got the pawn. <sighs> oh, that just hangs a rook. Oh, he's giving up the queen. That's interesting. This pawn moves. Okay, knight check. Knight at h3. Oh, h3 first. There's mate on uh, Artem's board. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got laser focused on the other board. This is uh, first to 11, correct? It, it is, yeah. And we're at 9 to 5 right now. Gamer has, yeah, knight takes pawn. I wonder if they'll tell queen sack. That would be interesting. Probably. Mm -hmm. He does have two knights in hand already. Queen takes f2 is interesting. Especially yeah. since the bishop hasn't moved. Does he have anything tangible? Oh, he's though? doing it. We're seeing it. Uh, hey, Andy Starr, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Let's oh, wow. Shout out. He just sacked the queen. That that doesn't seem like that was great timing. <laughs> this is really terrible timing. Yeah, they were up about ten seconds too. Oh, that uh, just hangs a knight though. <laughs> uh, the gamer may very well live through this. I think Artem should play maybe Bishop takes f three, something like that. It defends the knight. And if queen takes, you could trade the queens and knight check pick up the rook. Okay, instead he's going to... Oh, I like the bishop at five. Check. That's good. It's okay. King takes here. For sure. Yeah, because he can't really take on e4. Yeah, because bishop Ooh, takes and now bishop yeah. at f5. New, new bishop at f5. Yeah. Push pawn. Okay. This is looking real good. Uh, so Maybe... bishop back check, and then a knight mate. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's going to be very easy to Maybe get. Maybe just pawn at h6 in the interim. Although, the other queen could get in with pawn takes e5. I still think that Maybe... king is safe. I would still Maybe play pawn Maybe Artem at just goes for like pawn at a6, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sorry, pawn at a6. can't really be attacked, yeah. I mean, he has he has takes e5, but that's just an easy check to block with the other pawn. Yep. On the Shuvalov board, maybe just push e6. Uh, well, it's black to move. What does black have here? Oh, Anything? Uh, it is black to move. Um, maybe like knight at f5 with threats of knight at g3. Uh. And you've got the queen in hand, so you might build a mate on f2. Knight at g3. 
Uh, the knight of f5 first. And yeah, then, no, I understand. But what does knight of yeah, d3 yeah. do? Can't you just take it? Uh, takes and then takes. Oh, I guess we we can't give up a knight, huh? Okay, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's that's kind of crafty. Yeah, that looks reasonable. Got a main threat on f2. Ooh, uh, knight check. You can't give up the knight though. So, yeah, but they're gotta... up time now. Oh, he should drop be... another knight. Knight at d4. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure surprised Artem is sitting this down so far. Uh, he gave the knight. I don't know if that was wise. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Queen at c6? Yeah, he found yeah, it. Yeah, that's wow. mate. Nice find for Artem. Yeah, I think good gamers should have waited for like knight at d7 or something like that. Yeah, those those positions get kind of tricky because you're you really want to flag your opponent, uh, <laughs> and you're trying to stay safe at the same time, and it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Uh, so Andy Star, I'm not currently playing. This is the Buckhouse World Championship, and I am commentating on a match here. Uh, this is the under 2000 section. Um, this is the round of eight. We're going to go down to a final four. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. I'm uh, sorry I got engrossed in the game for a minute there and missed your chat. Um, but for the raiders, this is Bug House. I'm in the commentator booth with Ego Smasher, another very strong Bug House player. Usually 2500 strength. Looks really good for Shuvalov. Yeah, wow, this is looking really rough here. Not exactly the position you're looking for on match point. No. <laughs> um, it's I can't really see how kind of can be tempo can defend this. Yeah, so knight just mates, and there it is. Yep, you're knight in. So that's match point. The final score is 11 to 5. Um, there is another match coming up pretty soon that we're going to commentate as well. Uh, First, let me put the score in the chat in case someone watches the VOD here. I, I'm honestly surprised by this result. Uh, I thought that uh, Can I Give You Tempo and Good Gamer 2 were some of the favorites to win the tournament, but they have been eliminated. Um, yeah, so our next match coming up Supposedly at 3 p.m., but it may have been res rescheduled. Let me double check the calendar. Uh, it still looks like it's in the calendar for 3 p.m., but it might be a little late. But the match coming up is Eggers Den and Slow Wi Fi 9 versus Lock and Quay and Ferrari Fan 27. Theoretically in 13 minutes, but I was told that that might be postponed uh, 15 minutes to a half an hour. So for those who were asking, am I playing? Uh, I am going to play now. Uh, I don't think it's worth ending the stream and then coming back because this match is going to start fairly soon. So I'm going to change my title there. I'm going to try following these guys to see if they're online. If they're online and playing, we can just watch. Um, oops. Now unfollow these guys. Okay, 